everybody and welcome back to my channel. So I posted up a picture of my hair extensions a few weeks back on Facebook and a lot of you wanted to see how I wear them and as you guys can see I have pretty short hair so it can be a little difficult to blend in the extensions at times. So I just wanted to show you the way I do it and in this way you can actually wear your extensions on much shorter hair than mine. So yeah I hope it would be a little helpful to you and now let's get into the tutorial. So I have already brushed my hair and I've got rid of any tangles and all and my scalp is actually pretty oily so the roots of my hair can get oily pretty fast so that's why I've used a dry shampoo and the one that I've used today is from Cola. This one is actually very good and especially because it is invisible so it doesn't really leave any white powderiness that some of the other dry shampoos do. So I'll just use a little bit more on my crown. This would just freshen up the roots of my hair and also give a little bit of texture. So just massage it in your hair. This would give a nice texture as well as a little hold onto your hair. Alright, so the hair extensions that I'm going to be using today are from Bellamy and this one is the Bellamy Bambina. It's 160 gram, 20 inch and my one is in the shade 1B which is off black. I'm starting off with a 3 clip piece but before placing it on my head, I'm combing it out to get rid of any tangle. Then I'm sectioning my hair in a line at the base of my head, around 3 or 4 inches above the neck. And I'm clipping the extensions in close to my roots. To make sure that the extension has a strong grip, I swirl the clip around a bit to create a knot in the hair. I'm creating the next section right above my ear and again securing the top layer of hair with a clip over my head just so that it's easier to clip in the extensions. This time I'm taking the 4 clip piece and combing it out first again and then placing it close to the roots of my hair. The next section I'm creating right across my temple and again using another 4 clip piece. The next section I'm making just under my crown and here I'll be placing a 3 clips piece. Then I'm creating a deep side part and here I'll use the 2 clips piece. I'm doing the same on the other side of my head. And again swirling the clip a little just to secure it even more. Then I'm taking a one clip piece and attaching this around one or two inches above my ear. This again I'm doing on both sides. Next I'm using another one clip piece by creating another side part but this time it's going to be a lot closer to the middle part. And this also I'm repeating on the other side as well. Now I'm done with the extensions and this is how it looks at the back. 
Then to make sure that the extensions blend in with my real hair, I'm gonna curl the hair a bit. So at first I'm applying a heat protectant to protect my hair from the heat of the curling mode. And to curl my hair today, I'm using my new me Titans and I'm using the 25 mm wand. So I'm taking quite big chunks of hair and just wrapping around the barrel for a few seconds to get some loose curls. And if you've noticed, I'm curling only from the middle of my hair. I'm, sta I'm not starting from the roots as I want a very soft curl just at the bottom. So I'm repeating the same thing with all the hair. Here you can see the difference curling makes. So on your right my hair is curled and on the other side it's not. Then to give a little more volume at the hairline I'm using this topic hair building fibers at the two corners of my forehead and also right at the edge of my hairline. So you just have to dust in the powder to the patches where you have less hair. I'm also using it over the partition that I've made in the middle. Then I'm setting it with a hairspray just to ensure that it doesn't move around or fall off throughout the day. And you can still create a part even after using this product. So with a rat tail comb, I'm going over my part just to make it more prominent by removing a bit of the product. It's actually very difficult to explain, but I hope you can see how easy it actually is from my demo. So as you can see, my hairline looks very, very natural and the product is undetectable. So here's the finished look. So you can see how well the extensions blend into my natural hair and how voluminous and healthy my hair looks. I'm just in love with it. So I hope you found this video helpful and if you did, then please share it with your friends and help me grow. And until next time, take care and bye-bye.